I often jokingly describe myself or label myself as a cyborg, partially because I almost have as much metal in my neck as the Terminator. But I primarily use the cyborg joke because during every hour, minute, and second of my day, you will find me using a technological device to navigate my environment. For example, the very first thing I see every morning when I open my eyes is this track for this lifting device, which assists me with getting out of my bed and onto the chair device I sit on in the shower, or onto my wheelchair, which is the device I use for the majority of the day. After breakfast, I call upon my Jayco robotic arm to grab my coffee for me and carry it into the office. But he also comes in handy if I drop anything on the floor or if I need assistance reaching something. My van might be my largest assistive device, which is equipped with an automatic ramp, a lowered floor, and electronic hand controls in the form of a joystick. It's basically a real-life video game. Sure, some of these things might be pretty interesting if you haven't seen something like this before, but in my mind, my adaptive devices just highlight something many people might not consider. 64,000 years ago, some humans in a cave in South Africa figured out how to turn a rock into an arrowhead and glue it to a stick. And that was tens of thousands of years after we figured out fire, fishing tools, and tools to make clothing. For years, academics identified this tool making as a solely human trait, but that all changed when chimps, certain birds, and a few other animals were found using tools like sticks to grab bugs, or using stones or shells to crush food. However, there's no denying that humans are the only species capable of creating more advanced composite tools needed for adapting, like the arrowhead, attached to a stick with glue, which is really not that different from putting some metal, plastic, and rubber together to make a wheelchair. To me, these adaptive tools are not defining, and even more importantly, they are not confining. They are just assisting my adapting. So the next time you bump into me at a restaurant or a park, try not to get distracted by the tool being used because after you really think about it, the adaptive tools I use throughout the day don't actually make me a cyborg or something different at all. I'm just doing what our species has been doing for more than 64,000 years, being human.